All right, so today we're gonna be doing some uh, surveying for a uh, drain tile job here. Um, this guy definitely has uh, some water problems. It's uh, not gonna be fun driving through all that. It's uh, rutted up pretty good, mud mess. And uh, there's even when it's this cold out, there's still standing water. So right now I'm just waiting on uh, my RTK base station. I'm not sure how it all works, uh, but basically we're using RTK GPS. And uh, I know some people, when they use RTK, they uh, pay for a subscription and then they use kind of the local towers that transmit the signal to. Um, we're not doing that. Uh, we got our own little tower back there. So, we don't have to pay for a monthly subscription by doing so. I mean, the thing wasn't wasn't cheap when we got it, but it's kind of a one and done deal. So while that warms up, waiting for uh, satellites, I'm gonna get the survey vehicle, Rhino 660, uh, warmed up and uh, unloaded here. Just waiting for my uh, computer here to start talking to uh, the GPS base station. And uh, I already got a field opened up, so I'm waiting to make a benchmark. And from there, I'm going to drive on the entire outside edge of the entire field I'm surveying to make a boundary. And then once I'm done doing that, I can start uh, filling in the field. So I'm going to go up and down probably every 30 feet or so. And once I'm done with that, I'll make a topography map. And uh, hold on. then I'll be able to see what way the water and stuff wants to go. Where all the low spots are and everything else. But boy, am I going to have to go slow. It's a... Uh, it's a mud mess here. So I'm gonna have to go slow so I don't bounce my head off the ceiling and also that my computer stuff doesn't break or anything like that. So it's gonna be gonna be slow going. Usually if it's a nice open big field and it's smooth, I can run, you know, 30 miles an hour or whatever. And it goes by pretty quick, but I have a feeling I'm going to be taking my sweet time here. All right, so now my can uh, my GPS is talking with the base station. I got 12 satellites talking to me today, and it's a bunch of and uh, I'm ready to make a benchmark. So here, I'm just going to make a quick benchmark. Wait for the countdown. I'm going to record on the right side of my vehicle. 
drive every 30 feet up and down the field. But uh, right now, I'm just trying to find a smooth line, you know, get in between his uh, tire tracks, because this is uh, pretty bad. The closer you are uh, going up and down, I mean, you can go 10 feet if you really want to. The closer you're, uh, you are to every pass or where you survey, the more accurate your map's going to be, obviously. So I'm just about done surveying here. Um, we got a couple more passes to do yet, but what I wanted to show you is, what's interesting about this particular job site is we already kind of know where the water needs to run, but I, we're gonna survey it anyways to get a estimate of how much tile we need and everything else, and how many taps there's gonna be. Uh, and double check our work with the computer. But the reason this field holds so much water, as you can see, yeah, he doesn't drink that even when he's, he runs his ditches and stuff. There's not really for anywhere for it to go. There's no, there's no good outlets. There's no big ditch that we can dump into. Uh, behind me here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, there's a grass waterway, and uh, that's the neighbor's property and stuff. So we're going to run our water up to this grass waterway, which then runs down to the river probably a half a mile away. But we uh, installed probably a couple years ago this pump station here. So this is where we're going to run our uh, tile main. It's kind of like a giant sump pump you would have in your basement. So all the water's gonna run to here, at least half this farm, uh, into this pump station. And then once it gets so full, it'll turn on, it'll blow the water out this pipe. Uh, there's obviously gonna be another connection going to the waterway underneath the culvert here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna blow down the grass waterway. So. I mean, it would have been awesome for him to just have a natural outlet, you know, because he's gonna have a electricity bill with this pump station. But overall, I think he's gonna be still money ahead by doing this. 
So next problem is we don't actually have any electricity hook up, hooked up to this yet either. So that's gonna be a project of itself because the uh, closest electricity we can hook into is at the pole barn, which is about, oh, half of a quarter mile, eighth of a mile away. So we're gonna have to figure out how we can uh, trench some uh, power up to uh, the sump station. I would open this up, but uh, those nuts on that PVC are blocking the lid to show you how deep it is. But I think I do have some old pictures I could probably show you. And then obviously when we come back, I'll, whenever we get to it, whenever we're tiling, tiling this and hooking into it, I'll have a video of it. But until then, let's see if I can find some uh, photos. All right, I'm pretty much done here. Obviously, uh, I wish I could have got a little bit closer spacing in between some of these spots. So the closer you are, uh, the more accurate your map's gonna be, but it's just so rough. I'm tearing up the machine and uh, my GPS antenna just wants to fall off and I'm driving through there even when I'm going slow. So, uh, I, I'm done. But I'm gonna press autoplane here Yes, I'm done. It's gonna make me my uh, topography map. If it ever finishes loading. Alright, and that's uh, our finished product. That looks like about 69 and a half acres. So from here, uh, I'll just save it and then when I take it home, I can uh, uh, take this map here and uh, plug it into my computer and then I can start designing uh, where the tile needs to go. But that pump station I was just showing you is right here in this dark corner, our lowest spot. All right, I got two more stops and then I can head home. So um, I'm still over here at the farm with the the pump station and everything. Um, for those that are wondering why uh, why would we would use a pump station, you know, it's gonna have an electric bill. Um, I'm sure it's gonna run a lot when we first uh, hook up the tile to it because there's a lot of water in this field. Uh, basically, we need our uh, tile to be deep enough. We need to, uh, we try to run our tile a minimum of two and a half feet deep and uh, we, like I was telling you earlier, there's no good outlet. Um, even if we're trying to like run the tile itself without the water pump up to the grass waterway, um, it'd be very, very shallow, if not above the ground. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And uh, that's why we put a, a pump station in. So uh, eventually when I'm back out here, uh, Hopefully I can get some video footage of us maybe hooking up the electricity or if not, uh, hooking up the actual tile and uh, showing you how it works. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. Well, this is more like it. As you can see behind me, I'm at the next job site and uh, this one's got a lot uh, better drainage. Say, shoot, I'm already 10 feet above it probably. And uh, I'm only 50 feet away from it. So obviously I know the water's gotta go somewhere right, right in here, but I'm still gonna survey it so we can get a better estimate of how many taps there's gonna be and uh, how much tile to bring to the job site.